he's punching towards me, you know, I coil out, but I don't just open like this for the, the cross. So if he juggles there's a jab cross at me, right? Boom, boom, right? If he does that and I turn him out, I want to be able to not open my door so much that my face is wide open. So if I just move, if he comes this way a little bit, you see my face. If I'm doing this, I'm opening the door for him to hit me each time I defend. When I keep the triangulation of my body in mind as he does that, you see, he's offline, but my gun is right on him. His other gun has a tiny window to come through to hit my face if it can, but it really can't. You know, so when we use the silk reeling, it tightens up the holes, and it keeps our gun always on our opponent, much the way in special forces when they enter a room, they don't just move their gun all over the place, <laughs> except in the really bad movies. But the hold in, in what they call a shooting platform, where they're in center, they're triangulated, and where they look, they're ready to go instantly. This is the same idea with silk reeling. So it also creates a, a situation where when he punches and I go like this, he falls into my next shot. So when the punch comes, I want to harmonize with it, grasp it, and take it down. And then there's a lot of different things you can do with it at that point in time. But it's important to understand these are not just for grappling.